I worked as a chief operating officer in a large financial institution. I traveled a lot. I had some stunning and sometimes long vacations. And I learned to fly small airplanes all at the same time. And so people ask me, how did you fit everything in? You surely had to work long hours. I totally get it. We just assume that as we rise through the ranks of our career, we have to work harder and harder. We have to work longer and longer hours. You might say, listen, there must be more to the story. And there is. So I want to share with you the three strategies that I follow. You can follow those strategies too, to earn more, to work less and to enjoy a courageous career without sacrificing everything else. What I also want to share with you is one overriding principle that we have to understand in order to focus on the right things. But first, is everything that you came to believe about working hard and earning money wrong? So I'm aware that I've been disproportionately passionate over the last decade. We live in a culture that almost celebrates the constant hustle. We not only focus on our nine to five jobs, no, we start a side hustle. We aim for financial freedom and we also want to align our career with what we want in life. And in order to do that, we have to work long hours. We have to multitask and promote ourselves and show everyone what we are capable of doing. There's some truth to that story. If you believe that you can get rich and live a fulfilled life without ever lifting a finger, then you're in for a big disappointment. I did some of those things as well, the multitasking, the hard work, but I also realized that they very rarely had a direct impact on the amount of money that I was paid, so there had to be something else. When I wake up in the morning, this happens. I get up with my three W's in mind. Wake, bright, workout. So I stroll into the kitchen, put the kettle on, then I empty the dishwasher and put things away. I cover the first coffee with water, get my bread and cut it, put the rest of the water over the coffee, go and brush my teeth, come back, pour coffee, now I've done four things at the same time, but if my day would end here, I would not feel very satisfied. None of it seemed focused or aimed at any goal. But then I sit down and write, just me and my thoughts, this one task only. And even though it just covers five minutes of my day, if we ended the day now, it would feel I have accomplished something. And I could only achieve that when truly concentrating on this one activity. Multitasking is a lie, don't buy into it. I know it sounds so cool to be able to do many things at the same time. Maybe you're even able to impress a few of your friends. But if you want to earn more and work less, that isn't the way to go. And the reason is very simple. If you want to master a task to the extent where you earn more money, you really have to focus on it and multitasking won't allow you to do that. And equally, if you are not focused, you will spend a lot more time on those activities, leaving you little time to actually work less. Pick your priority, blend out all the other distractions. But for me, that wasn't enough to earn more. I had to do something else. A good starting point is to come up with categories that in your mind make the biggest difference to how you do your work. For me, it was always people, products, and processes. Find a system that helps you creating balance in what is your one task. A painter may need time for creative painting, but also for selling and promotion and networking. A teacher may need to teach, but also further their own knowledge or do some administration. And now that you've systemized everything, there is one more thing to do. Let me tell you a little bit about delegation and more specifically, how to delegate well. There are really three things that you do need to delegate well. And the first one is you need to have great people. And you might say, hey, I'm not in a company. I don't have a team. I'm just a self-employed guy. But you may have people who do things for you. They may program something on computers, they may build your website, they may do your social media marketing, whatever it is. You have to make sure that you hire the best people that you can for the price that you can afford 
because of the next thing, you need to have trust. I have to have trust that things are being done. I can't take credit for it. I have to decide what my contributions are, and then I have to play towards my strengths and delegate the rest. And the third thing you also need to do is you have to step back from the limelight. See, once you delegate something, once you have trust in them, you also have to give them the credit. And that leads me actually to the overriding principle. Here's the thing, you're paid for results. You're paid for what makes the biggest impact or what makes the biggest difference. So make sure that you focus on this one thing, your one task. Make sure that you have balance through your systems that you have in place and also make sure that you don't have to be the star of the show all of the time. And when you do all these things, then you appear to work less. You definitely appear to be less in the office. But there is something that you do constantly, and that is evaluating in your mind what makes the biggest impact. To figure out where you want to put your energy in. That's a 24-7 job, but it's also part of the job that you won't mind at all because you see the tremendous benefits that come with it. And if you are a driven individual, maybe like myself, then you think about the next task and the next challenge and so on and so on until you learn what I only learned later in life. It's okay to pause and consolidate. We can take time for a creative break. We can celebrate our successes and we can also take the time to think and learn. It'll also help you putting your work into perspective too really figure out what it means for you to live more. And it's something that I talk about in this video over here. Head over there if you haven't seen it yet. I will see you over there and in the next one. Take care.